Assalamu alaikum hello guys in this video i'll be talk about electric cars as they may hold the future for the automotive industries so let's start here i have this sketch for an electric vehicle and it may not be the best of all my sketches so let's just ignore it in any electric vehicle there are three major components the lithium ion batteries which we are using in our daily lives as well and then there is a controller which is the brain for any electric vehicle and then there is a ac or a dc motor usually a three phase ac motor is preferred due to its low maintaining cost so now let's see how it all works the batteries here are producing dc voltage or current the controller has to convert this dc voltage or current into the ac voltage or current then the controller will provide the motor with three phase ac current and the motor eventually rotates the driving wheels for the electric vehicles so now an important aspect here to be noted is the rpms for this induction motor can reach up to 20000 which are far more greater than the rpms produced at the crankshaft of the internal combustion engine which are the counterparts for these batteries so now the question arises how the electric cars accelerates or decelerates how we control the rpms or power for the electric vehicle actually the rpms produced in the induction motor are directly proportional to the frequency and voltage of the ac current produced by the controller and provided by the controller to the motor by race pedaling we actually controls the frequency and voltage for this ac current and we control the power and rpms in that way in the electrical vehicles so now for the cooling purposes of the batteries we use glycol as a working fluid and here we have also a radiator in the electric cars now there is also a mini charger in electric vehicles which is based on regenerative braking system which converts the kinetic energy of the driving wheels back into the ac current and then the controller will convert the ac current into the dc current and charges the batteries a little So now if you guys have noticed the electric cars don't have the conventional transmission system unlike to the gasoline cars they usually have only one gear and one differential the reason for this is the rpms range at the crankshaft of the internal combustion engine is very less and that's why we have to put the transmission system in order to increase the driving wheel speeds in the gasoline cars and it is not the best idea to put the ic engine directly with the driving wheels in the gasoline cars but on the other hand in electric vehicle we can put the motor directly with the help of one gear because the speeds of the induction motor can reach up to 20000 rpms so that's why we don't require a conventional transmission system in any electric vehicle and that's why the electric cars only have one gear and that's the same reason for why the gasoline engines have the transmission systems the advantages for the electric cars includes they have no tailpipe emissions the air will be cleaner they are efficient the electricity is cheaper than gasoline and diesel they have less moving parts it means they have no transmissions clutches etc so little mechanical maintenance in the electric cars they have no periodically oil changings so on the other hand the disadvantages includes the electric cars have limited driving range usually 100 miles or slightly greater than 100 miles per hour and the charging times for the batteries are very high it takes 8 hours at least to recharge a electric car but the technology is reviving so we could expect greater with the electric cars in future so these were some of the fundamentals of the electric cars so if you guys have any questions you can comment below i'll try to answer them and please don't forget to subscribe and share thank you so much